This is part two of my series where I analyze specific peptides, their value and their pros and cons. And I wanna just give you the information. Last time you guys said that you wanted me to do TB500, which is basically being called the ultimate recovery hack. So TB500 is a synthetic version of thymosin beta-4, which is basically a natural occurring protein that helps regulate cell movement and tissue repair. But ultimately this peptide works by promoting new blood vessel formation and reducing inflammation at the injury sites. In many animal studies, it showed promise for healing tendons, ligaments, and overall heart tissue after damage. And so the appeal is obvious, faster recovery times, more training, less downtime, quicker healing from injuries, and ultimately things that could sideline you for weeks now only sideline you for days. But before you start injecting this into your body, you actually need to know what's happening when you start to use those compounds. So like most peptides, TB500 has zero human clinical clinical trials for athletic recovery. And so everything you read online comes from rat studies and underground bodybuilding forums. And because TB500 stimulates cell growth and blood vessel formation, scientists warned it could theoretically accelerate tumor growth and fibrosis in humans. And any type of long-term safety data doesn't even exist. So nobody even knows its impact on organs, hormone balance, or even immune function over the years. And so even dosage is a guess, as the recommended dosage is often just what works in my and so if you want personalized advice about peptides, shoot me a DM, drop something in the comments to make sure that I do the next peptide you want next.